Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have broken down quite a bit today. And we are testing the previous lows for the last five trading days. The 20 exponential has offered massive resistance, so rally up towards the 20 will most likely be rejected at this point. Break below these previous lows that could open the door to the very lows at the beginning of this year, which is at 89.17. Technically, the units they are very bearish indeed, so we could see this drop towards those levels. So let's look at oil. So oil had a very, very, very good day today. So it's up more than 3%, heading towards the top of the bullish band, which is at a 66.94. Technical indicators are all turning around, except for the MACD, still bearish. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, RSI is bullish. If we manage to take out these previous highs here, then we could go to 67 and then to 70 and then to 75. So the bottom of the spark market was give or take 61.59, the very bottom of the bullish band. And now it looks like we're going to go back towards the top of the bullish band. And, and we always to see whether or not we manage to break above there. We have tested that three times in the last uh, two and a half weeks. And um, that is going to be the challenge from now. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas uh, did break uh, below the 20 exponential, headed towards the uh, bottom of the bullish band, and then rallied. We stopped right at the 20 exponential. Technical indicators there are, well, they are looking very bearish indeed. The MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the RSI. So a break above the 20 exponential, that could open the door to give or take 3.08. And um, a rejection here, but all that could lead all the way down to the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average down here at 2.75. So let's look at copper. So copper f fell towards 4.44 uh, and uh, then rallied. We're trading just underneath the 20 exponential moving average at this point. Technical indicators there are very bearish indeed. So if you manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we could go and head back towards these previous highs at 4.7. Otherwise, rejection here could lead towards the 50 moving average. And the 50 moving average has been massive support for a very, very long time. So it looks very similar to this move here. We rallied, got way up ahead of ourselves, and then broke down towards the 50. Same here. Looks like we're going back to the 50 and then continuing higher. So let's look at gold. So gold uh, is kind of running out of momentum, and it, that is also to be expected when you are overbought. So, so there'll be less and less uh, buying, and uh, we could see this uh, fall back towards um, support at the 200 moving average at uh, 1,844 or 1,850. We have the 20 exponential moving this way, going across the 200 moving average. That should be a very bullish signal. And uh, yes, pullback at this point is kind of what we kind of expect. After pullback, we could go and head towards the 1900, 1950, and then beyond that. We are very clearly changing uh, direction in this market. Um, we are no longer in this downtrend. Instead, we are creating an uptrend here and it looks like 2000 will probably be the long-term target in this market but break below the 20 exponential that could open the door all the way down to the 50 down to 17 7, uh, 1776 so let's look at silver so silver is finding massive support at the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band. It is just bouncing off that and just continuing going higher. You see here on Friday, we touched that 20 exponential and then rallied. And today we rallied just a bit. Technically, they are fairly flat, but 
at this point, it looks like we are grinding our way towards uh, towards uh, $30. So let's look at Platinum. So this went all the way down towards give or take 11.58 and then rallied. So we got fairly overstretched here. Technical indicators are, well, they're, they're not looking very good. MACD is very bearish. Stochastic is flat, still underneath the signal line. CCI is bearish and the RSI is flat as well. So rallies from here have found resistance at the 50 moving week average. And um, if we get rally yet again and get rejected, then we could drop all the way down to 1100 and the 200 moving average down here at 1052. Break above the 50 moving average, that could open the door back to these previous highs. But kind of looks like we are changing direction here. But time will tell. Next rally up towards the 50 and the 20 exponential, that will kind of be, uh, let's say, where we, this market is going. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium really fell apart today. We rallied up towards the 20 exponential, got towards 18, uh, 14, and then just fell apart. So if you look at the uh, Fibonacci retracements for this market, then we can see that the first Fibonacci retracement right here at the 38.2, give or take uh, 2700. Then the 50 is down here at 20, uh, 2600, and then we have the 25th. 2500 down here at the 61.8. So kind of looks like these are where the targets that we are going to test. We could bounce from here, could bounce from here and so on. But break below the 61.8 that we have the 200 moving average down here at 24.38. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for pallium. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has found support at the 50 moving average and has rallied from that point. So that's a fairly good sign that this could basically be the floor of, the, of this market. And from now on, we could stabilize here and then go higher. If we break below the 50 moving average, then we can see this drop all the way down to the 200 moving average at 2018. Technical indicators they are still very bearish, uh, but stochastic is turning around here. MACD is bearish, stochastic is uh, kind of flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. So a break above the 20 exponential, that could open the door all the way up towards 25.32. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has also found support at the 50 moving average. We rallied today, and it looks like we are running into resistance here at the 20 exponential. So we could see the stable lines here before going higher, break below. You have the 200 moving average right underneath. So to both the 50 and the 200 right in this area here it should offer massive support as well as the bottom of the pullage band. So break about the 20 could open the door back towards the 18, uh, 18,179. But that is to be seen at this point. Last time we tested the 200, we rallied from there. Technical indicators, they are fairly flat or bearish at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has also, we fell towards the 50 moving average. We didn't really test that and then rallied a little bit. So at this current stage, it's kind of hopeless to say whether or not we are going up or going down. Technical indicators, they do favor the downside. So we may see this test of 50 break below that could open the door all the way down to the 200 moving average at 0 0.1505. Break above the 50 and the 20 could open the door back towards 0 0.1797. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is trending underneath the 50 moving average. We have tested it several times and we have been rejected every single time. If we, um, if you have a crossing gear of the 20 and the 50, that could drop this all the way down to the 200 moving average or these previous lows here at 0 0.7690 or the 200 moving average at 0 0.7629, 26. Taking an indicator stay are not looking very good for cotton. The momentum is definitely to the downside at this current stage. So let's look at cocoa. 
So this completely fell apart today. And um, at this point, yeah, we're we're just uh, we're just trending sideways. If we if we can see that we have the fairly top of the market around this area here and the bottom of the market. So around this area is the bottom. Around this area is the top. And at this point, it looks like we're going to test the bottom of the bullish band and and the very low zero to two point three. So this market is all over the place and is a very very risky and very difficult to trend uh, trade. If you look at technical indicators, they do favor the downside. As the last five days, we have been just been crushing it at the, at this point, and therefore they should also uh, show momentum to the downside, but. At this point, we're approaching the previous lows here, break below here. Well, that could open the door to these previous lows at uh, 22.39 and then all the way down to 20.95. So let's look at wheat. So wheat continues to drop and very, 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 very volatile market to be very honest. Massive rallies, massive breakdowns. At this current stage, it looks like we are going to head back towards the 200 moving average. So we did try to rally and or we basically broke down and then, then we rallied, but we're still in red. Technical indicators are still very bearish. And if the 50 moving average will start uh, acting as resistant, then this could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average. Break above the 50, could open the door to the 20. But at this point, if you look at Fibonacci retracements, we can see that it kind of looks like we have broken the 61.8. So it is kind of likely at this point that we will drop towards the 200 or probably also all the way down to uh, 594. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.